Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing a wedding guest 101 video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys things that I would normally wear to a wedding. I've been to lots of weddings, um, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. <laughs> This would be a fun video to make because it is wedding season. I always stress out when it comes to getting a wedding invitation because it's either like dressy, formal, black tie, cocktail, beach dressy, casual dressy, which that one makes no sense to me because casual dressy, semi-formal, there are just a lot of things to choose from. So I'm gonna just break it down super quick while I run through these just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to maybe understand. And I've picked really versatile dresses that can work for pretty much any type of wedding. This video is sponsored by Lulu's and I don't know how many times I have told you guys the best place to go to for an occasion dress is Lulu's. I put it in my digital magazine. Anytime someone DMs me, I'm like, try Lulu's. Um, so this partnership just makes so much sense to me and I'm so happy to be doing this because they have great affordable dresses for pretty much any occasion. I'm just choosing weddings because it is wedding season. All right, so we will get started with the black tie. Now, when it comes to black tie, that usually means formal, not usually. That does mean it's gonna be formal. So I've picked a couple of safe options for you. Um, I did not pick any black options because people always say you're not supposed to wear black to a wedding, even though I do and I have. I think there's nothing wrong with it, but I went ahead and picked dark options besides black, so I've got two navy options. First one is, I don't know why this is on this hanger, is this dress right here. It is an off-the-shoulder navy kind of crisscross in the front, maxi high slit i'm obsessed with this dress this is my one of my favorite ones um i'm kind of hoping i get invited to a black tie wedding soon so i can wear this but it's very comfortable very stretchy um easy to move in easy to dance in this one i chose was this one right here and it is an off the shoulder kind of like a sweetheart neckline navy dress it almost looks a little teal in the video but it's a dark navy just really need to be careful that if you wear something like this or this exact one that you know what the bridesmaids are going to be wearing because this is very similar to what a bridesmaid would wear so make sure that the wedding colors are like coral or peach or blush or something before you order this in the navy the next one is my versatile option and this is for if you are on a tight budget and you don't have a huge budget to spend but you need a new dress i chose this one and i think this is a really good one to wear to most types of weddings, but this is also good for weekends, hanging out with your friends, or put on a put a blazer over it, belt it, wear it to work. So this can also be worn kind of in your everyday life as well, but just add a strappy heel and you're good to go for a wedding. Because if you are buying a dress to wear to a wedding, you know, something like this, you're probably not likely to wear it again but something like this you can definitely incorporate into your lifestyle. Like I wore this to work the other day with some black ankle boots and I would wear it to a wedding as well. So next I wanna go into kind of the daytime dressy wedding. Now this is more cocktail attire and I feel like most weddings are either cocktail or casual. I think a majority of weddings are cocktail so we'll go ahead and get into that. And if this cocktail wedding is, you know, if the ceremony is earlier in the day or if it's all kind of like an all day thing, I would go with something like this. I feel like this material is a really great option. Um, it's dressy, but it's still breathable. I know it looks like it's not, and it feels like it's not, but it is. It's very lightweight. And I picked this baby blue because I thought this was perfect for daytime, and I, I love the nude underlay in it as well. Then if you wanted to go with something a little bit more pink tones, you could do this strapless embroidered dress. It's kind of the same situation. Great for a daytime cocktail attire. Um, you could even throw on a more casual shoe and this could count as a dressy, um, I mean a casual wedding as well. It just kind of depends on how you accessorize it, but I would definitely wear this to a cocktail daytime wedding. And another one is this right here. This is probably one of my favorites. I think this could count for nighttime as well, even though it is very bright. You could definitely do this in the night with some black accessories, maybe like a black heel, like how I wore it in the try-on part. But it has a really good shape to it. I love the ruffles right here, and this is also something that I would wear outside of a wedding guest as well. I would definitely wear this out to dinner, 
Um, so this is also a versatile option as well. And then for nighttime, if you are invited to a cocktail attire wedding, you could do this one. So this is kind of the same situation as the lighter blue one, but I would do something darker if it is nighttime um, or if you're just kind of more a behind the scenes type girl like I am, like I do not want to stand out at a wedding. I want to look cute, but I don't want to stand out. So I'm more likely to wear something dark versus something bright or something with like a crazy print to it. But I love this one because it does have the nude underlay so you kind of get that layered look and it just has a really pretty silhouette. This is a really cute dress and it's very comfortable. And if you are not into dresses, um, if you feel more comfortable wearing pants, I say a jumpsuit is definitely okay and I actually chose this one Whip, really dramatic sleeve. I tried this on and Ryan was like, whoa, sleeves. It is just a really kind of bright reddish orange color jumpsuit with pockets, might I add, so you can definitely like sneak some food in there and take it to your table. But this is really cute. I love it, it was comfortable, easy to move in. You know, you wanna be comfortable at a wedding. You don't wanna feel constricted in a tight dress. Um, you wanna be able to move um, because you don't wanna be the person that's like sitting there while everyone else is doing the electric slide. You wanna be up moving and socializing, but also feel comfortable at the same time. So I think this is a great option for that as well. Next, moving on to a more casual wedding. This could be like a little, you know, outdoor kind of barnyard chic ceremony. Um, I was on Pinterest looking at weddings earlier, so barnyard chic is like on my mind. I chose this one. It's definitely a lighter material. You know, it doesn't have a crazy silhouette. It's just kind of a simple yet really pretty dress. Um, that's how I would describe this dress. It's just pretty. It's got fun details to it still, so it's not boring. It's still not as dressy as the other ones that I showed you. I love the colors in this one too. I think it's subtle, but still very spring at the same time. Is this one right here, and I love this one. This is a low cut maxi dress with a high slit. You could do this casual and wear some flatter um, sandals or you could do some heels and make this dressy. So this could really kind of go either way. It just kind of depends on the length of dress that you're looking for. If you are looking for a maxi, I think this is perfect. And I really love the print on this too. I think it's pretty. This dress kind of reminds me of if you are going to some sort of Caribbean wedding or if your best friend's getting married in Mexico type thing, um, I think this is really fun. I, I don't know that I would wear this to just any wedding. I think it has to be sort of an occasion type thing, but I love the colors in it. Um, it just kind of screams beach wedding to me. Even though the material is like not so beachy, I think the colors and the print are very fun. Um, but you could also do this for a daytime wedding as well. The next is a very, very casual dress that I'm not even sure that I would wear to a wedding, but I wanted to try it on for you guys anyways, and I'm sorry it's a little wrinkled, but there probably is some sort of occasion. I'm thinking like barefoot beach wedding. I would either do something like this or something like this, depending on like, this is the bottom of the food chain casual wedding. And I, like I said, I don't even know if I would do that, but you know, there are certain circumstances all over the place where crazy things happen and you just never know. So lastly, I wanted to get into a couple of things that I have just kind of seen at weddings and I'm just like, no, um, just two little tips that I just wanted to cover. Hold this dress and don't get me wrong, this is a great dress, just not for a wedding. So I pulled this dress as kind of a no. Um, even though it is black, it is simple, you definitely don't want to be wearing a tight, short, cleavage at the same time dress and low back. This is just kind of all of the no's for a wedding. If you are wanting to go for a darker, sexier look as a wedding guest, I suggest something that looks like this. This is tight, it's got a great silhouette, yet it's covering in all of the right spots. If you're wearing a skin tight dress, make sure your boobies and <laughs> your booty are covered. And if you are showing cleavage, make sure it's long. If it is short, make sure you're covered up up here. You know, you wanna kind of balance yourself out. Don't wanna give it all away at a wedding. So next, I wanted to leave it up to you guys. I know a huge no-no to wear to a wedding is white. Such a shame because this is the most perfect dress. I love it so much, but this is a very big no to wear to a wedding. I have been to weddings where people have actually been wearing just an all white dress. And if there's one thing my mom taught me early on, it was never to wear white to a wedding and I stand by it completely. I know it might sound so old fashioned, but 
Just play it safe. There are so many different colors out there that you can wear. Don't wear white. Which leads me to my last point. I wanted to leave it to you guys on if you would wear either one of these to a wedding. Do you consider this too close to white, too close to lace to wear to a wedding? Both of these dresses to me are just absolutely perfect and this one actually doesn't even have white in it. It's all nude. This one does have white in it but it has a nude under layer. I'm gonna leave it to you guys in the comments. Would you wear either of these to a wedding? Do you think this is appropriate for a wedding guest? I would personally say probably not. But that's just me because like I said, I hate standing out at a wedding and actually this dress is the exact same as this dress, just in navy. So if you are trying to pick, just go with the safe option. It's better to be safe than sorry going to a wedding. All right, so that is all for this video. And you know, every wedding is so different. Every circumstance is different. I'm sure some of you guys are watching this like, um, you can't wear that to a wedding. But you know what? These are just my choices, things that I would pick to wear to a wedding. Um, some of you guys might not agree with them. I also even think everyone's version of like cocktail, black tie is different as well. I've been to very formal weddings before where people have pretty much been wearing something like this. So, you know, my definition of cocktail or black tie isn't always the same as yours. I also wanna thank Lulu's for partnering up with me. Um, I've been wanting to partner up with them for a very long time to do a wedding guest uh, video and I'm so glad we got to do it because it is wedding season. And yeah, I'm gonna leave you with this and I'm gonna link everything below so you guys can go grab it if you love any of this, if you're a wedding guest or even if you just have a special occasion coming up. Um, baby shower, graduation, I think these are all amazing picks if I do say so myself. <laughs> Thanks again to Lulu's and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Really quickly, before I go, I wanna give three shout outs. One shout out to the white strappy sandal from Zara. Second shout out to the black strappy sandal from Zara. And a third shout out to my Victoria's Secret pink sticky boobs that I wore throughout the entire video. If you guys don't own a pair of these, wedding guests or not, you definitely need them.